You have mounted your opponent. After softening your opponent up with some strikes to the head, he will get his hands and forearms up in front of his face to protect himself from your punches. Now, grab his left wrist with your right hand and pull it up, preferably to your left shoulder to make room for your left hand, which goes over the top of his left arm to grab a hold of his left tricep or shoulder to pull it all the way across his body. Place your right hand on his left cheek and push his face away so that his left ear is facing straight up. This makes it impossible for him to turn into you, which shuts down his defense. Now, go to your left foot, placing your foot in his right armpit, while still squeezing your right knee and your left foot together and maintaining your grip on his left arm and your pressure on his face. Now, in one quick motion, lean your upper body to your left, putting all your weight on your left foot to create space for your right leg, which you swing over his head. When your right leg is on the left side of his head, drop your buttocks to the mat as close to your opponent's shoulder as possible to get better leverage while pulling his left arm into your chest with your left arm. Do not drop to your back before you've swung your leg over your opponent's face as this would give him the opportunity to escape. Do not let go of his arm in this transition. Now, lean back and hold on to his arm with both of your hands. Place your left calf on your opponent's chest and right calf on his face and squeeze your legs together as tight as possible. Now arch your hip up while pulling his left hand into your chest as well as controlling his upper body with your calves. The combination of these actions puts a tremendous amount of pressure on his elbow, forcing him to tap.